Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna show you the OneNote Digital Planner installation process for the iPad and the Surface Pro. Now, this method is not recommended by, by, by Microsoft. However, it is a workaround for those of you who may not have access to a computer, PC, laptop. Um, Again, if you have access to a PC or computer, I highly suggest that you do method number one because that's going to be the fastest, the easiest, and honestly, probably the most reliable. And it's the one that is recommended by Microsoft themselves. Um, the method I'm going to show you right now in this video is if you do not have access to a PC or computer, like at all, and you only have your iPad or your Surface Pro. Keep in mind, I did not say Android. So if you have Android, this process is not going to work for you because the OneNote for Android application is extremely limited and it does not have the features that I'm about to show in this video for iPad and Surface Pro users. So let's go ahead and in the OneDrive, this is the access you'll see, you're going to see zip files and then that say PC install, which again, this can only be done on a computer, or you will see OneNote files that say tablet installs. And these are view only files that you have to make a copy of in your OneNote account. Your OneNote account and your OneDrive account both have to be using the same account. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so for me, I'm in my personal LPH demo account and um, that's the account that I'm going to use my OneNote on. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose any of these purple ones. Um, there's three versions because JDM stands for January, December, Monday start. JDH stands for hybrid, which means it is a Sunday start um, monthly and it's a Monday start weekly. Okay. And then JDS means it's a Sunday start both month and week. I'm gonna go ahead and open um, JDM. So just highlighting that to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And it's opening the notebook. And this is going to be a view only file. Please do not make any marks on this file. This is a view only file, not for editing. We're going to go ahead and let all of these load up and while that's loading up you are going to add a notebook in your own personal OneNote account okay add notebook and then you want to make sure you're putting it in your personal account and i'm going to go ahead and call it um, backup because we always want to create a backup of our digital planners because year after year you want to be able to have a blank copy to copy from. So I'm going to call it blank LPH. I'm going to call this demo just because I don't want to get lost. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Now keep in mind um, if you're using a totally free personal OneDrive account or OneNote account, you are only limited to five gigabytes unless you choose to buy more storage. Okay. And if you've already used some of that storage, that could affect how much space you have to install the digital planner. Um, if you almost have eaten up a lot of your storage, you might want to consider either upgrading to a paid personal Microsoft account or just sign up for a whole new OneDrive account that's free and you get a f another five gigs you do have to use a different email but that's another option now that i'm on the tablet i've created this backup demo and then now i want to go to um delete this one because i don't need it every time you create a new notebook it always adds one section in there okay so now going back to that tablet install file See how it says tablet install. This is the one that you've opened from the OneDrive account that I've given you access to. You're gonna go ahead and hold. 
and select all of the sections. If you're on an iPad or Service Pro, you will be able to do this. If you're on an Android, you cannot do this. Now we want to copy. Copy it over to that file, that notebook you created. I called it the backup demo. And if you're on an iPad, you're not going to see any spinning gear for processing. It just looks like this. So you just have to wait and give it a couple minutes. Okay, so the copying has just finished. It Notice how the menu, it just disappeared, it went away. And so I'm gonna go ahead and check that backup file that I created. This is the one that is for me. And the one that you got from the drive is called the tablet install. So make sure that when you're done copying it over, please go ahead and select it and close the notebook. Close the one that says tablet install. That is the one that I've shared with you. Once you've copied over into your newly created notebook, you no longer need the tablet install file. So please just close it, okay? So now the backup LPH demo, that's the one that I created. Um, you can call your file, whatever it is that you want. Um, go ahead and repeat this process. Create another notebook. Sorry, create another notebook. And this can either be your backup file or this can be your... 2024, 2025, whatever your file it is. Um, essentially, you're gonna do this two times and you you can work off of your own personal backup file just because um, you always wanna have a blank copy for yourself. So I'm just gonna call this 2026 and let's do um, planner, for example. And create that notebook and copy that same process except this time you're working off of your demo or your backup file, sorry. So the backup one that you just created, long press and hold, select all of them again, do copy, and then choose that 2026 file. And that's the one that you're going to be working off of for the year. Um, again, I suggest doing this way, that way you always have the backup file, okay? So let me show you where it is in your OneDrive account. Let me go ahead and get out of here. I'm in my shared right now, but now if I go into your files, like go to your personal files, and anytime that you um, create a new notebook in OneNote, it's going to show up in documents. Okay, and I've created a couple of this because I've been making a lot of videos today, but notice how the backup LPH demo, the, the third one from the left. So the backup LPH demo file, and then notice that 2026, planner I created is here as well. So these belong to you. These ones are yours. Um, yeah, so you no longer need to get to um, the file that I shared with you as long as you're always keeping this backup LPH notebook. Hopefully that was helpful in how you can go ahead and get started with your digital planner. I'm going to go ahead and create a different video on um, the how-to with your planner, you can go ahead and email me or you can respond to that purchase email confirmation that you received from my store. If you've purchased on Etsy, you're welcome to message me on Etsy and I'll try my best to um, answer your questions there if you don't have access anywhere else. I also have a Facebook group that you're welcome to ask questions in the Facebook group as well. I see all of those things. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please let me know below if it wasn't and how um, I can make it more clear. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.